Welcome to the first lecture of the Data Projects Udemy course on Exploratory Data Analysis (ADA). In this lecture, we will introduce the concept of ADA and explore the Google Play Store apps dataset using Python. Let's get started. The ADA is a crucial step in data analysis that helps us understand the data, discover patterns, and extract insights. It involves techniques to summarize, visualize, and explore the main characteristics of the data set. ADA helps in identifying data quality issues, outliers, missing values, and relationships between variables. ADA typically involves the following steps data collection which is about gathering the data set for analysis second step is data cleaning and processing handling missing values outliers and inconsistency the third step is data exploration by visualizing and summarizing the data set to gain insights the fourth step is statistical analysis by applying statistical measures and hypothesis testing. The fifth and final step is to draw conclusion or drawing conclusions by interpreting the findings and presenting them effectively. Python provides several powerful libraries for ADA including Bandas for data manipulation and analysis, NIMBY for numerical computations and array operations, Matplotlib for creating visualizations, Seaborn for advanced statistical visualizations. We will be working with the Google Play Store apps dataset, which contains information about various apps available on the Google Play Store. The dataset includes features like app name, category, rating, number of reviews, size, and price. Our goal is to explore the dataset and get insight into the distribution of app ratings, size, popularity, and price. Before we dive into the dataset, Make sure you have Python and the necessary libraries installed on your machine. You can install the required libraries using pip or conda package managers. Let's import the necessary libraries in our uh, Python script as the following. But you can also use Google Colab like me. In this course, we will use Google Colab, which is affordable and easy to use. Also, it comes with the required libraries for data analysis and machine learning. We will download our dataset, then upload it to the Google Colab as the following. Let's open the drop down and rename firstly the Google Colab tab by Google Play Store Analysis.ibymb. Then open our drop down and upload our dataset as the following. But you should extract the dataset, then upload the files inside the folder. It will appear in the collab as you will see. By choosing it from our system directly, it will appear in the drop down as the following now our files appear at the google collab directory as you can see now let's open a new code cell and import our important bison modules which is pandas as bd nimby as mb midbilletlib 
dot by plot as BLT, C porn as CNS. So this all the important images that we will use in our project Google Play Store Analysis. Now let's load the Google Play Store apps data set into the Pandas data frame. GF equal BD dot read underscore CSV between two parentheses and two single quotes or double quotes Google underscore play underscore store underscore apps dot CSV and we can copy the name of our CSV file from rename after clicking uh, right click on the CSV file and the directory of the collab and copy the name of the CSV and paste it inside the bd.readcsv method then run the first cell and the second cell then we will use the head method to return the first five rows from our dataset df underscore store and run our cell by clicking on the run icon it will run and then we will look at our uh, dataset using dot head method of pandas data frame now we can do visual exploration for our dataset so the first column is the app column the second column is the category column the third column is rating the fourth is reviews then size then stalls then types and price their content rating then generous then last updated then current version then android version then we will uh, use df underscore store dot info method to return the information or the summary information about uh, our dataset as you see and run the cell using this method to see if we have any null values and what is the data type of uh, data inside our columns we find that the app column has no null values and of object data type category has no null values and of object data type rating is float 64 or numerical and has null values also we have type and price the type and content rating columns are of object data type and has one missing values or one null value also current version and android version has null values or missing missing data value now we will start to use another method called describe to return summary statistics of our data set so it will return the only summary statistics of the numerical column rating we will adjust that after cleaning our data set so in this lecture we introduce the concept of exploratory data analysis ADA and its importance in data projects we discuss the steps involved in ADA the Python libraries required for data analysis and the Google Play Store apps dataset that will be explored in the next lecture we will focus on data cleaning and processing techniques thanks for joining this first lecture of data projects udemy course on eda in the next lecture we will dive deeper into data cleaning and processing see you there happy coding